walk me through what is a interview process look like say i do you know find out that hey they're having this casting call mm -hmm. and i'm fortunate enough to get called in for it what does a typical interview look like to get on tv well first of all they want to they want to do what's called an on camera because obviously they always want to know what you look like on camera so a lot of people are you know they look sort one way on on in real life and then you see them on tv and they look a lot different so mm -hmm. that's that's the first thing they want to do they want to see how you actually look on the television screen the second thing is what's going on in your life like a lot of people want to come on television and only want to give what they want to give and that's never going to be good television that you can't you can't it's a give and a take so if you want to come on here and you're not if you're an artist or whatever you are and you want to promote what your what your i guess what your number one claim to fame would be you still have to give things in your personal life because it's a reality tv show and it really doesn't work unless you're willing to give up some personal tidbits because nobody wants to watch love and hip-hop or any of these shows if in fact you're only coming on here to sing a record or if you're only coming on here to cook or if you're only coming on here to take pictures and be a model they want to know what that person is who that person is and what makes that person tick and then that kind of pushes your claim to fame your your trait your your number one quality to the background because your personality and you as a person kind of takes over what your storyline would be so that I mean that's kind of what it is and that's that's what really really hinders a lot of people they don't want to give that up they really just don't want to give that up Sean if you go back and we can talk about Olivia Olivia was an amazing artist she could sing but she never wanted to give up the personal tidbits of her life she never wanted people to see who she was dating she never wanted the people to see her cry she always wanted to make it seem as though everything was just so honky dory and that's not what people want to see because it's not it's not relatable so the number one trait to being a reality tv person is you have to be relatable to the audience the audience has to look at you and say oh my god i i've been there i've seen that i've done that i've been with that i've been in that situation and that makes them relate to you which in turn makes them like you Okay, so, and, and, and I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because I, I, I got a lot to go over with you. In the interviewing process, okay, how long is the interviewing process? You said you do on cameras. How, how long mm -hmm. is that? Is, is, is it a day's worth of on cameras? Do I have 15 minutes and I got to, you know, shine within these 15 minutes? Typically, what does that look like just in terms of length of time? Probably a good hour, hour and a half. Really? Yeah. So yeah. within an hour and a half, I'm expected to expose all of these different areas of my life because I get what you're saying. You got to be willing to open up. Correct. But some people might go in, and I get it. With you know, you're on Love and Hip Hop, but there, there, there could be you know reality TV shows about real estate, um, you know, mm -hmm. Real Housewives. Within that hour, hour and a half, I'm supposed to be willing to divulge that much about myself? Yes. You're supposed to go into that interview and basically you leave nothing, no stone unturned. So I go into it and it's like, okay, Rich, Rich Dollars, what's up? What's up? I'm Rich Dollars from Bad Boy Records. This is what I'm doing. This is what I am. You can call Sean Prez about me. You can call Sean Combs about me. You can ask all these different people and know that my story is actually an accurate story and I'm not you know, lying to you. And then I go into my personal life and this is what I'm doing and I'm dating such and such. And this is my girlfriend. We have problems. So all those questions are day one questions. All those questions are day one questions. They want to know everything about you. Are so you, you come in as a, I'm sorry, uh, Rich, go ahead. I'm sorry. If you go in, if you're coming into this thing as a music industry person, they want to know about the music and who have you worked with and, and, and what have you done and what are your accolades and what was some of the, some of the craziest shit that's happened to you in music and they take it to the personal and then they want to know, are you married? Do you have children? Is there baby mama drama? Do you have a girlfriend that you're dating now? What's going on with that? Because that's all part of your story. And they literally ask these questions day one. Interview one. They ask all these questions. You do this on camera. Mm -hmm. Are you on camera by yourself? 
Yes. If they put They're, you in positions with other people who you may not know. Like, what does that part look like? You know, no. the first interview is you're sitting there and it's like literally, it's like a camera pointed at you and you're basically interviewing. You're taking an interview and it's you by yourself sitting room, on the chair. Right? Huh? Who's in the room? You and the producers. So it's just you and the producers. There's no other cast members. No other cast members. Okay, go ahead. And then they ask you and they start asking you. So it's just you and the camera and, they're, and the producers are asking you questions. And then they say, okay, well, Rich Dallas is already on this show. Do you know Rich Dallas? And they start asking you questions about people. That's how they get to the bottom and the nitty gritty of who you got beef with, what you, who you don't like, who you know, who you don't know, all these different, who you slept with in the past because essentially these circles are pretty small, right? So if I'm coming in and I'm doing Love and Hip Hop New York, it's going to be a bunch of New York people. It's going to be a bunch of music industry people. It's going to be a bunch of artists. It's going to be people who I should have dealt with in my past. They're going to ask me my relationships with those people. And then that's how you get into the meat and bones of it because they're asking you all these questions and they're just going back and forth and they're berating you with all these questions. But you're on tape. And that's the tricky part because when you leave that room, you don't even remember some of the shit you said. <laughs> but they remember all of it because they're looking at that videotape and they're saying, oh, Rich got beef with such and such. He frowned up when I asked him about such and such. Oh, that's interesting. So now let me get such and such in and ask him about that. So that's how they start getting into the beat, meat and bones of where, who you really are and what you got going on. Typically, how many interviews is it before you know I got accepted to the show? I would say probably in today's in today's age, probably four or five. So they probably bring you back four or five times. So if your phone continues to ring, hey, would you like to come back in for another interview? You can start to think to yourself, I'm getting closer to the finish line. They're liking what they're hearing. They're like exactly. So the more times that you communicate with these people, and it could be, it could be, you know. An interview doesn't necessarily have to be them bringing you back in a hundred times. It could be them. Now they're starting to communicate with you and what's going on for your day to day. Oh, hey, Rich, what's up for the day? What you got going on? Oh, uh, I see you on. I see your Instagram and I see you doing such. So now you start to take, a, take notice of the fact that, oh, these people are paying attention. Not only did I do an interview, but now they're following me on Instagram. They know what I'm doing in my day to day. They know, you know, they've asked other people about me because now they're starting to come back with information from different sources. So now they want to bring you in and they want to ask you all these questions before the cameras go up. And that's how they essentially have determined who you are, if you're going to be good for this television show, who you have drama with. They know all that stuff before cameras go up. So now they can start to position you for good TV. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.